Hi Libra, welcome to your full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus for October 28th, 2023. Full moons close out cycles. Um, we're in a lunar eclipse, so this can be anywhere from six months to a year where this energy um, continues through, but this reading, uh, in any case, the direction of the reading is going with friends and colleagues. That's number three. That's people in your life. Uh, number three is a creative number. So these people may be giving you creative solutions or helping you to find creative solutions. Um, maybe you work creatively with them. Um, it's a nice card. Well, that's the direction the reading is going in. Your focus then is for the next two weeks, the high priestess. Uh, spirituality, initiation, reflection, source, uh, secrecy, inner wisdom. Uh, definitely inner wisdom for me. It is uh, for me very much about the structure that you put your um, details upon. And by that I mean um, it is the mysteries. So it's what you deem sacred, right? What you find uh that is sacred in your life, and that's how you build upon your person, your being. The major arcana are always about your internal world, um, and that is reflected to you uh, in the things that are going on around you, happening around you, the people, that, the, people the colleagues, the friends that you uh, collect around you. Um, so if you think, for example, that plants are sacred, then maybe you become a gardener, or you know a lot of people who are um, have a flower shop, or that kind of thing, right? You, you um, become vegetarian, or <laughs> it's that sort of thing, right? What, what you deem sacred is what you build your, uh, what you're putting your details upon, uh, which would be the empress, right? So the high priestess can be secrecy, can be um, your intuitive psychic um, energy, but it's, I think it's beyond that. I really do. It is your structure. Okay. Let's see what is being closed out for you in the next two weeks to <laughs> a year, I suppose. It seems extreme, but... What is it? You have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords for me is a Taurus card. Uh, this is about um, clearing the questions of your mind. He's my detective card. This can be somebody around you who's very inquisitive. It's probably a younger individual or somebody who behaves uh, a bit younger. It is a page uh, energy. Um, they work very hard to clear those questions in their mind. Um, I, for example, I know a Taurus person who um, studied a particular topic through podcasts for an entire year before she launched her business, right? She really <laughs> understood uh, the idea of, um, of an aspect of growing her business but she listened a good year to to experts. Uh, so it's that kind of energy. They go the distance to get to the information that they need. Now, again, this can just be somebody, a very inquisitive person in your atmosphere. Okay, so you have somebody else here, which is the Queen of Cups. Um, this is my Scorpio card. Uh, could be any water sign, but it doesn't even have to be their sign. It's just the energy that they're taking on. Uh, this is somebody who's very intense. They can be intuitive, very uh, intuitive and psychic. Uh, they are certainly emotional, and they are somebody who studies their emotions. They include their emotions in their... Um, in their... Uh, decision-making... They're usually round in features. Um, you would look at their chin. Their cheeks are often very round. Their nose can be round. Um, their hands may be roundish. That's when you know that they are water. 
Um, and you can kind of see it here a little bit, but she has a, her eye turned down at the edge right there. And that's also a big um, water sign um, that somebody's water. Okay, so we'll, well, I guess we'll look now to see what is going on with these people and why they are in your atmosphere. Maybe they're visiting, maybe you're visiting them. Charity. Okay, this is a charitable card. They're helpful people or you're helping them, one or the other. Um, this can be advice, this can be financial, this can be a place to stay, this can be lending your car out, it doesn't matter, but it's helpful energy. Um, it's kind, it's charitable. Uh, the only warning with this card is what are the people doing with what you're helping them with? You know, mind what they're doing with your help. Uh, as long as it's being used productively, um, enjoy giving, enjoy being charitable because everything always comes back to you. Not why we do it, but it's certainly um, a bonus. Uh, there can be minor illnesses with this, but this can also be medicines and medications, proper um, like herbal uh, things, herbal medications, uh, but bringing something back to health. I always, when I get this card, always say this is a good time to check with your physician to make sure that all of the uh, medications, uh, supplements, vitamins, and minerals, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, are working well together. Okay. You could even be helping this person out with information, right? Helping them to discover something. That's also possible here because this is sort of like the discovery card, the detective card. All right, you have the Six of Wands. Wow. Okay, so you're probably the one helping people out. You have the Victory in Groups card. Uh, this is usually after a period of tension, so um, which would be five. Right? But it seems to me like we're getting past that because we have two sixes here, and six brings things back into balance. And again, we have friends and colleagues. So these are people that we're working together with. Maybe done in the background. We might not be telling everybody what we're doing here um, or keeping things on the down low. Also possible. Uh, but the Six of Wands is a Valor card. There's Valor here. There's uh, somebody who's leading a group into victory. Um, and there can be some nice things that you say about people or um, nice things that are said about you. This is only a partial, um, momentary uh, victory because we're at the number six, so there's more to go before we complete the entire fire cycle. But you can take a victory lap. Okay, then you have the Nine of Cups, which is uh, another fantastic card. Um, it is uh, a wish fulfillment card after, again, after we've dealt with um, our fears. The Nine of Cups is facing your fears. Once, well, it's not facing your fears. It's the um, the victory, the kudos, the um, what we receive after we faced our fears. Okay, this is fulfillment. It's being full. Actually, he's quite full. He's a bit round because he has plenty. Right. This is the plenty card. This is uh, Pisces, uh, Jupiter and Pisces. And so Jupiter gives. He's the great benefactor, right? He gives. He gives a lot. The only thing that you shouldn't do in this case is be boastful. Share the wealth, right? Um, he's a little bit of a hoarder here. <laughs> but, you know, who knows? He's got his banquet laid out. Maybe he's inviting people in for, uh, for a drink because he has, right? It's a nice card. Uh, but it is, again, the number nine. So we are heading towards nine, this, this really deep 
uh, emotional satisfaction of a job well done or helping people out and bringing them with you to a victorious state of being in a very general sense here. The outcome, you have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is then the card of um, Libra. So that's you. Um, this is somebody who, and I don't need to tell you this, but it's somebody who is very rational. They make their decisions with facts and figures. Um, they rarely bring sentimentality into their decision making. It's not saying that they're not sentimental or can't be heartfelt people. It's just that in decision making, important decisions, they want facts and figures. Um, these are people who can be moderators, police, military, the law, lawyers, uh, judges, that sort of thing. Libra, right? And the um, scales of justice here, weighing out who gets what and why. Um, very rational, very logical. You know them by their sharp features. They can have a pointy cheekbones, a pointy chin, a pointy nose. Their eyes can be quite um, uh, pointy, <laughs> darty, um, sharp, I'd rather say. Uh, they have a very sharp mind, usually intellectual individuals, uh, book smart, uh, law-minded. Libra. And this person, so we are looking at friends and colleagues here. This person can be in a bit of a um, regretful or depressed mood. The emotions can be a little bit uh, unstable at the moment. Um, or this King of Swords is helping uh, somebody who's feeling this way. It probably isn't you because you have victory and you have the uh, wish fulfillment card. But uh, there is probably somebody around you. It seems to me like you're holding space for these people, meaning like um, you're kind of somebody that they can come to if they need help or they need a shoulder or they need some logical um, understanding of their situation. You may be somebody, like I said, this is mediator energy, so this can be mediators, right? Perhaps this is a couple, this is the younger version of this one, or somebody who's at a distance, right? Because we can't have two king of swords, so this can be somebody uh, that represents the king of swords, but they're at a distance, they're further away, if this is not a young um, air sign person. Uh, so, um, this could be a couple, right? It doesn't have to be. It could be because there's, um, emotion and passion in between, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, the five of cups is, uh, regrets. It can be looking too long at, um, what hasn't gone right. Uh, this card asks you to pivot and see what is still good in your situation to bring more of that about. Um, but it is an emotional um, imbalance that pushes us to find the balance of six, right? Right, let's get a little more information here. You may feel like your um, actions are a little ineffective at the moment. The Eight of Wands is feeling like our hands are tied. This card is interesting because it is putting a lot of energy, right? Eight is power, a lot of power behind the struggle. And the struggle is this feeling that we can't create a solution to maybe helping our friends and colleagues, or there can be a situation where once we were unable to, uh, but the tide is possibly turning now, and uh, things are moving in your direction. This card often says, don't put too much uh, energy behind the struggle. It's not saying don't put any. It's saying not to put too much energy behind the struggle because you're only digging yourself deeper into the mire. Um, wait for the situation to turn in your favor before you take more action. That's what the card says. That is the advice of the card. You don't have to take it. 
but it comes after uh, these two uh, main cards here. So this is always just like extra information, right? There may have been a period where you were unable to do anything about uh, the situation or to help your friends and colleagues out um, with your wisdom, right? But that tide is changing now. The Eight of Swords often says you're not supposed to do anything. Uh, maybe that's because the situation can be between these two people and maybe you're the mediator, maybe you're the center of it, or, you know, you're hearing both sides of the situation. But um, your hands are tied, right? If it's a colleague, you can only do so much or say so much. If it's family or friends, it's still, you only have that mediator position. It's really up to these two people to do something about it another five and it's the five of swords which is a very uh, difficult card for me it's one of my least favorite cards in the deck um, it's something that's very hard won uh, you may get what you want but it's not the way you want it somebody can end up getting hurt or humiliated um, so it's not a complete win with the five of swords it's a difficult card for sure and so um when it pairs up with the King of Swords, this person can be um, a tyrant. They, again, bring no sentimentality into the situation at all whatsoever. Um, they can be difficult people to deal with. However, it is also Libra, so they may be the mediators in a situation where there's difficulty, where there's that humiliation, or where there's a no-win situation. And like I said, the no-win situation, you may win uh, this person, or they may win out, but it's not a complete victory. There are people who have lost out here, and they may be somebody that they're very close to, right? It's not a complete victory something that is very, very hard won. So you may get what you want, but it's not the way you want it. What does Spirit want you to know? You have the Nine of Swords. There's this hopeless feeling, hopelessness, and letting go. Anxiety, coping, hope, anguish. It's a tough um, card. Um, but it exemplifies this card quite a bit because we're feeling like we can't do a lot in this situation um, to help out friends and colleagues. Maybe they're trying to help you out. That's possible, although you have some pretty good cards. But these cards definitely come after the difficulty, meaning um, this is the reward for facing your fears this is a victory after a very tense period. So um, the interesting thing about the Ten of Swords is that your perspective is really important here because uh, were you to let go of this uh, difficult situation, then you see that there's a new day and a new beginning. Uh, but you can stay also in this hopeless energy, right? where it just perpetuates the uh, the dusk, the darkness of the situation. That's kind of, uh, it is the Ten of Swords, but you can see that kind of here with that Eight of Swords of hopelessness. There's nothing I can do. I, you know, I've done what I think I can, and I think that, you know, it's out of my hands now kind of energy. Okay. Well, that is a bit of a difficult reading, albeit you do have really good cards with that Six of Wands and the eight, uh, the Nine of Cups. Um, but again, friends and colleagues, so either they're causing you some difficulty or you're helping them out of some, can go either way. But there's very possibly some things that are being done uh, secretly or behind the scenes here with that High Priestess card. And again, it's also what you deem sacred. So uh, here, well, that would be valor, right? And facing your fears. Hope. Helping people out. Being helped out, right? 
Okay, Libra, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for listening. I will return in two weeks with a new moon reading. Until then, take good care.